Okay, a uh, quick video on using Focusrite Control with something like a Scarlett 6i6, which is the one I've got here, Scarlett 6i6, second generation. So um, when you load this uh, software at the first time, uh, it's defaults to uh, routing like this. So there's two tabs on the uh, Focusrite Control. There's output routing, and then there's the actual device settings. And um, so device settings sort of gives you the uh, software version, etc. And there's some handy little meters here uh, for the two analog ports on this 6i6 on the front. But we're looking at the output routing. So um, out of the box, it'll default to a screen like this, where your outputs, the physical outputs of your Scarlet, in this case the 6i6, are over here sort of unhelpfully really on the left rather at the bottom or on the right but these are the outputs so monitor output so these are your line outputs one and two and then you can select each one so this one is line outputs three and four and then you can select SB diff outputs one and two now to make any changes from the way it's set up for def in a sort of default mode uh, which is that line outputs sorry software playback so something like logic over here outputting on one and two its stereo out will route directly to the analog outputs one and two of your focus right which is probably what you would want similarly three and four from logic is going to go to outputs three and four on the uh, scarlet so uh, these are the outputs over here now to make changes to customize this you need to just to click in the little drop down box here and change this to custom mix and I'm going to do that for that one and also to the three and four so down here custom mix and I've already made some changes here um, but let's just take these out and we'll start from scratch so coming back um, got outputs over here on the left and then two other sections got hardware inputs so the physical inputs microphone inputs line inputs on the front and the back of the uh, Scarlet and then we've got the, the software playback. So in this case, as you can see over here on the left, this is logic. So this is the DAW we're using here. So we can configure these and then save them as a snapshot. So to configure some hardware inputs, we click on the little plus button here. And then we've got all the available inputs on this um, Scarlet 6i6. So we've got one and two and three and four, or you can bring them in as stereo pairs so I'm just going to bring input 2 because that's what I've got my uh, microphone plugged into uh, doing this video so there you can see we've got some level and um, you can see that that level here is replicated over here in monitor outputs line outputs 1 and 2 so the signal is going out to the back of the Scarlet on outputs one and two, but you can also see it's going to line outputs three and four. Now, if you don't want that, then we need to click on line outputs three and four, like so. And then if you come back and then change the fader here and just kill this fader or mute it, and then this hardware input, microphone number two, input two, is just going to monitor outputs one and two and that's the the thing to get your head around is that the configuration in the sections here aren't hardware inputs and software playback doesn't change when you click on a different monitor output sorry on a different output like one and two here three and four what does change is the whether you've got that fader um, the, the level of that fader whether you've got it muted whether you've got it panned and they can all be independent for each output so I've got it turned off for three and four, but click on monitor outputs one and two, that fader's up, hence the signal is going from here over to the outputs of the, of the, uh, um, the Scarlet. So to add more, you just click on the uh, analog inputs here and route them where you want. I'm not dealing with the SB diff digital today because I'm, I'm just using these um, outputs one, two, three and four. And so the other section you've got here is software playback. Um, so this, in this case, the DAW I've got here is Logic, you can see over here, and I've got a little loop going here. Um, okay, so obviously nothing happening. Logic is playing, and we've got the stereo out. So basically that's the outputs one and two from uh, Logic. 
but obviously nothing happening because we haven't actually configured anything in Focusrite control. So let's add in, in this case, let's add in outputs. Let's, sorry, let's add in software playback one and two. Okay, so that's logic outputs one and two. And that, as you can see, is being routed over to monitor outputs one and two. And if I shut up, you'll also see that it's routed out to three and four. And again, if we don't want it outputted to three and four, then with line outputs three and four selected here, just kill that fader or mute it. And now it's not going out to three and four. So if we output from logic on three and four, then we're not going to hear anything because we haven't configured anything within software playback over here. So again, this time let's grab three and four from the right here. And you can see once again, three and four from Logic is being routed to the outputs of the Scarlet one and two and three and four. So in this case, if we didn't want three and four to go to the monitor outputs one and two on the Scarlet, then select that output like that, and then come to this fader and kill it or mute it. And so now, outputs three and four from Logic are just going to these line outputs here, three and four, you can see the level. So you can configure it how you want, and then once you've got it set up, you can always save a snapshot, and then you can bring that back in for different types of sessions, which is quite handy. And the only other thing um, is the um, headphone outputs. On the Scarlett second generation 6i6 there are two out headphone ports and I think these are hardwired so that so basically headphone port 1 will take its feed from monitor outputs 1 and 2 and headphone port number 2 will take its feed from line outputs 3 and 4. So there's no dedicated routing um, that you can do for the headphone ports within the software which is a shame. Maybe that'll be an update, I don't know. Anyway, hope that helps. Cheers for now.